Good evening and welcome to your KRQE.com webcast. We begin with Chris Gilson and a look at your forecast. It's going to be another clear and cool night out there. The winds could be on the breezy side tomorrow morning when you're waking up, hanging out to Balloon Fiesta. A slight chance for some hit or miss storms in eastern New Mexico, even a slight chance for a pop up storm here in the metro by tomorrow night. Then another cold front moves through. That could trigger some mountain snow showers Monday night into Tuesday. Behind that front, the temperatures will be dropping off once again. An Amber Alert for seven of the nine kids reported missing from a youth ranch in Sierra County for troubled teens is still in effect. The Tierra Blanca Ranch is the center of a CYFD investigation after police say former residents claimed they were abused. But when authorities showed up yesterday to serve a search warrant and interview some of the kids, they say the ranch was empty. Now that's when state police issued an Amber Alert for nine teens. State police say they've confirmed two of the boys are with their parents and are safe but say they're still searching for the other seven. Any time a subject of an Amber Alert has been located, authorities ourselves have to make that confirmation uh, to make sure the child is safe. And that's the bottom line. The ranch owner's attorney, Pete Domenici Jr., told us this afternoon all of the kids are safe. State police still say they will keep looking until they can confirm that for themselves. Anyone with information is asked to call police. Deputies say an Albuquerque man met up with his landlord, but it wasn't to pay the rent. Mario Astorga faced a judge today on aggravated assault with a deadly weapon charge after deputies say he threatened his landlord with an axe yesterday. According to a criminal complaint, the landlord told deputies Astorga held the axe over his head and he was in fear for his life. Today, a judge gave him strict orders. I don't want you to return to this location and you're to have no contact with that man. Do you understand those conditions? Yeah. The complaint states when deputies questioned Astorga, he didn't say he did it, but he did say he had just thrown an axe into the backyard. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Crystal Gutierrez. Thanks for logging on.